Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So if you're keeping up with me in these poster series, we have made a new image, added a background, masked out the sky, and replaced the sky. Now what we want to do is make it so the sky better conforms to the colors of the image itself. So in this lesson, I have added and made some subtle color changes to the background image for my Freezer Burn movie poster by Zero Kazama, and it looks pretty cool, but now I want to change the skyline because I want something more dramatic. So what I'd like to do is add a mask because if I delete the background permanently, then I can't get it back and I can't remove anything in case I want to go back to where I was. So we're going to access the pen tool and we're going to click around this environment. I'm going to do it in fast forward because it's really quite simple. You click and click and click until you have a contour that fits the mountains. And then I will go over a little bit of enhancing with the pen tool after I'm done. So hang on, stay tuned. Okay, so we pretty much contoured the mountain with the pen tool in a good way, in a way that I like. Now, just one thing to remember is that you have the ability to change any of these points to whatever you want so you can better fill the path in a way which fits the mountains. And we're going to create a pixel mask. Now, you're asking, why not a vector mask? Well, a vector mask can be changed and manipulated with these points, but because of the ruggedness of these mountains, I'd rather it be a pixel mask so I can change the mask with tools like a paintbrush, and I also know that I'm not going to be making this image any larger or smaller. So, we're going to finish off this mask. We're gonna cover the top corners. doesn't matter if it's not completely filled in, we'll fill it in later. Almost done. Come on. And there's our last point. Click on it till you see that little arrow. And there you go. Got a fully contoured mask. As you can see the little lines right there, show it off. So what we're going to do is we are going to go down to the new layer mask or add layer mask button, click it. We've got our mask right there. Now with the path still selected, right click on the area that we want to get rid of, press fill path, and change it to black. Bam, it's gone. We are ready to put our other image in. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to open up a file from a folder of a pre-saved image. So we're going to press command O. This gives us all these different pictures that I've used before or plan on using and I believe I called it Stormy Sky. That's it right there. And there's our Stormy Sky. So, same process as before in the previous video with moving images into another image. Click and drag into the tab till the tab opens and drop it in. So, there we go, now it's in, but obviously it's not really there yet. It needs to be fixed. It needs to go behind the background. We're going to do that. First, we're going to move it in an area that we feel is the right place. As you can see, you still can see the contour of your path, so it gives you a good reference point so you don't get the boat in there. Press V again to access the move tool. We're going to move it as close as we can to there so we get the full sky. Zoom back out. Okay, that's generally the area we want it to be at. Whoops. Let's go to fit screen. There we go. Generally the area we want it to be at. Now we want to move it behind the layer. So we're going to go to our layer panel and we're going to click and, click and drag layer three below the road layer. And there you go. It's pretty much set. Now we're not entirely done. We have a lot to do here. So what we're going to do in the next video is we're going to combine these two layers and make them look like they're a normal part of the image.